Hi, I'm Andrew Hazelden, and this is a sneak peek look at a new Carter VR for Fusion feature that allows you to process your footage and send it right to photogrammetry tools like AGI PhotoScan. I filmed this scene on a green screen stage of a wooden mask, and it's rotating slowly in a circle on a turntable. Fusion has the Primat keying node, which allows me to create excellent alpha channels without the need for rotoscoping. This is a big time saver in photogrammetry workflows. What I'd like to show you today is a new script that's called Send Media to PhotoScan. This script makes it easy to send your footage and also the alpha masks from your Fusion timeline right into a new PhotoScan PSX project file. This can save you a lot of time if you work with footage regularly in PhotoScan. PhotoScan is one of the most accessible photogrammetry tools on the market, and it's excellent because it runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. You start a new PhotoScan project by importing and aligning your photos, and if you don't have an alpha channel in the background of your footage, you'd have to clean up stray uh, noise in the background. But because we used Fusion to pull the green screen's key, we've got a perfectly clear alpha channel around the image, and that means there's very little noise. In this view, we can see each of the reconstructed camera locations, and you can see the circular shape, and that's the turntable I filmed with. I did a high circle pass around the scene and a low circle pass so I could capture the underside of the masks, uh, nose, and other facial details. So at this point, we have the basic reconstructed dense cloud, which is a set of points, and we're going to build a mesh from this geometry. PhotoScan allows you to switch your display modes, uh, so you can switch between wireframe points shaded. And this is the pure unshaded mesh that shows the geometry of a quick solve, and it only took a few moments to prepare. At this point, we then create a, the texture map where it reprojects the original photos onto this mesh, and it's a lot clearer than if we were just going to the shaded mode. So this mode here has all the detail we need, and we can just save this mesh out and use it in Fusion. If you look at the texture detail, uh, because we had 52 photos that it projected, at any view angle it captures the best texture, and then it creates one seamless UV texture map. And here, if I zoom out, it's important to note that when you're doing photogrammetry, it's very handy to have a uniform spacing between the views. If you did it more off the cuff, uh, you wouldn't get a result this clean, and it might have artifacts. But if you take a, a procedural approach that's planned, you can get very good results almost every time. Here I'm going to save the project, and then export the model. You can choose if you want to export an OBJ, an FBX, or any of your other common formats that you're used to for polygon geometry. I'm going to call this mask, and it will save out mask.obj as the file name. And for this simple test, we'll save the texture map as a JPEG image. I'm going to switch back to Fusion and open a new composite. I'll just drag in the mesh, that's the mask.obj, and the JPEG texture map. And when I connect the texture map to the mesh, we now have the textured model in Fusion's 3D space. I can just drag the shape forward so it's aligned on the origin. And if you can see the results here, it's quite satisfactory. Uh, because we had the green screen in the background, there's no noise or manual cleanup truly required. You could, if you want, readjust the UV layout in a package like Maya and have that projected onto your final geometry. But other than that, this is quite usable.